Good evening guys, Vez here. Tonight I thought I'd do a very quick video on how we can now use Orca Slicer to control the RSCS fan here or aka the auxiliary fan and control that through the slicer so we don't have to do it manually. So a lot of folks have been asking me how do I do this so I'll jump right into it and I'm going to show you how I do this. So first thing first is to enable that auxiliary fan inside our Orca slicer and we do this by simply editing our printer configuration here. Under basic information we drop down to the bottom. In this case it's already enabled for me but it's the auxiliary part cooling fan. Just check that box and that's going to turn on that feature. Second thing you need to do this is going to be a filament or material based specific setting so you don't really want to have that fan working when you're printing ABS for instance. So depending on material you're going to be using, you're going to have to set it under Orca Slicer again under your material properties. Go down and you should see under cooling, you should see the auxiliary part cooling fan. Set the percentage value that you want to run there. But also a quick note for that next setting right next to it is going to be the exhaust fan. In this case I'm not using it, I prefer to run my exhaust fan at the end of a print. But you could also enable that and control the exhaust fan through the slicer. And I'm also adding this configuration for you in the firmware so you could if you want to use, um, you could use it. So now let's see how those commands will work and how we can integrate them with Clipper. So now that the settings are enabled, what are they going to do to your printer? So let's see. Here this one, it's going to activate a G code, the M106 G code, with a parameter of P2 and then the S value which is the percentage of the fan. So now the slicer will do 0 to 255. But in Clipper, in reality, we don't use that command. It's going to translate that to set fan speed, then the name of the fan, then a number from 0 to 1, 1 being 100%, 0, obviously 0%. So 0 0.5 would be 50%. Now this going to have to be translated somehow with a macro that I'm going to show you uh, right after this. But check also the exhaust fan. It's going to do about the same thing but instead of P2, now it's going to do P3. So that's another uh, fan that we can control. Now things to note is that the M106 command is not a command that can control other fan in Clipper. That command is specifically used to control your part cooling fan. If you want to control any other generic fans that you define in their, under your printer, then you have to use that macro that is set fan speed, name of the fan, percentage value that you like. So um, in order to fix that and get um, the use of the M106, P3 and P2, it's a little macro I'm going to show you right now. So here is the macro, very simple macro. I'm not the author. I took inspiration from this link up here. And if you want to check it out, this is there. I just modified it with my not so good coding skill. I had uh, the help from my good friend ChatGPT. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what's going to happen here when an M106 command will be sent by the slicer to your printer. Um, it's going to check if it's an S command or if it's a P command. The S command is normally the command that will control your part cooling fan and the P command is either P2 for now the auxiliary fan or P3 for the exhaust fan. So it's going to check if it's defined and if it is it's going to check if what is the value and it will translate that um, value from 0 to 255 into a more uh, readable format from 0 to 1 and it's going to execute that macro of setting the RSCS fan speed to the desired value. Simple thing. Same thing with the exhaust fan. And now um, we also have to modify that um, M107 uh, macro which is the macro used to completely shut down the fans and when you execute that if you don't specify a parameter now it's going to completely shut off all the fans. So part cooling fan, exhaust fan, RSCS, auxiliary fan and if you specify a value, if you specify a P2 or a P3, now you can control them uh, individually. You could also keep using that set fan speed to control them 
individually that is up to you so now under your ending G code what I do is just a M107 it shuts down every fan in in the printer and that's it but you could um, manually add those uh, stop G code setting fan speed to zero if you prefer so that is how it's done very simple I'll link that um, macro down in the comment description down in the description sorry and it's gonna be on github you can copy paste that I just uh, put it under another CFG file and I link it in my main printer.cfg so it's super simple and that is how you can control it um, so easier more convenient than the manual uh, the manual way of doing it so I hope this is gonna be useful because a lot of people have been asking me how to do this and this is the simplest way to do it with Orca Slicer. So thanks to uh, Bamboo Lab for implementing that. Thanks to the Orca Slicer guys to also uh, put it there. And now we have a way to control it. So I hope that's going to be useful. Have a great night. See you soon on another video. Take care, guys. Goodbye.